Coming up next, it is our main event of the evening between Frank Mir and Ultimate Fighter winner, Roy Nelson. country Roy Nelson he is the ultimate fighter season 10 winner as a heavyweight coached by Rashad Evans big country earned that distinction back in 2009 when he knocked out Brendan Shaw it was his first of many honors for knockout of the night Roy Nelson has big knockout power in his punches especially his overhand right He's also a very decorated jiu-jitsu player with a black belt under Henzo Gracie. He has a deceptive amount of cardio and a ton of experience against some elite level heavyweights. Frank Mir, as he makes his way towards the octagon, he knows he needs to put on a good show tonight. Mir is extremely dangerous on the ground. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and for a man his size, he's very quick with his submissions. He's also a decent striker and has been at the top of this heavyweight division for most of his career. Ready to fight tonight here in Las Vegas. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Nelson is three years his elder. Mir will have a seven inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. The moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Nelson is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with serious one-punch knockout power, especially in his right hand. He's really mixing things up tonight. Mir with a good connection. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Joe, that's a good slip of the right by Mir. Nice jab. Oh, huge kick to the midsection. Big straight by Nelson. Wow, that was a quick takedown. Great movement on the ground. Oh. 
Nelson gets it back to side control. Great work from the bottom. In the clinch. Got double underhooks. Nice trip. He takes the fight to the ground. Controlling him from behind. Oh, he sweeps the finish position now. Nice work from the bottom by Nelson. Just over three now. Great work from the bottom by Nelson. Oh, passes to the half guard. Nelson with the left. He's got some space now. He's posturing up. Nicely done. And he's back in the guard. Postures up here. He passes again into half guard. Man, he's got the reversal. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Two minutes. Falls back into guard. Now he's in full guard. Slides him over and nice reversal here. He's got his back now. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. Trying to pass here. Mir is cut open here, Mike. He takes it back. A and a mouth. full mouth. Not good. Hip escape. Nice hip escape. And the mount again. Looking for the arm bar. Looking for the finish. He pulled his arm out of it. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. It looks like he caught his arm. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. And he got his arm loose. Nelson goes into half guard. Nice left hand. Nelson goes into side control. Nice sweep. Looking for another takedown. Change of stance. Nice shot. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. Mir with the jab. Both men landing in that exchange. Man, he is mixing it up nicely. Joe, he's really on point with his strikes tonight. Solid straight left. Round one is complete. Okay, all I want you to think about is you, you are in shape. Your jujitsu is better. All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. And there's another excellent attempt at the submission, but can't quite finish it. And let's look at that from a different camera. The lovely Brittany. Here you go, You ready? Round two. Joe, that was a big round. Great near submission attempt. Nearly finished the fight. Nearly finished the fight with that submission attempt. It was very close. 
Joe, when Frank Mir fought Ian Freeman, everybody assumed that Frank Mir would just roll to another victory, but Freeman had other thoughts. Freeman certainly had other thoughts. Frank Mir made a critical error of holding onto a heel hook with both of his arms and not defending himself and allowing Ian Freeman to punch him in the face while that was happening. Ian Freeman's got heavy hands and he was able to stop Frank Mir. Mir with the good straight to the body. Man, some nasty body shots. And you can see the bruising starting on the left side. That's oh, a that's hard a huge hook. hook. Big power jab. Oh, and another one. That hurt him. Look at this. Big straight punch. Nelson's looking to pass here. And now into full guard. Mir with the good punch. Nice movement on the ground. Half guard. Big punch from the bottom. Now he's in full guard. He's working from his back now. Just over three now. Back to half guard. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Nelson's cut on his cheek is nasty. The doctor may need to take a look at this one. He's back in half guard now. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Side control again. Look at that. How good is that? Uh-oh. He postures into place. Lands nice that big hand. left hand. Oh, big right hand. Nice sweep to get to top position. Oh, look at this. Grabs his ankle, pulls down on his shin. And he's out. Wow, that arm was in deep. Side control. Nicely done. Mir goes into north-south. Moves to half guard. Now he's in full guard. Postures up. And he connects. Man, that right eye is really looking swollen. Nelson gets tagged with the right. Under a minute now. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, he hurt him with that elbow. 45 seconds remain in the round. Elbow. Nasty elbow. He's attacking from north south again. Mears unable to pass. Twenty seconds. In half guard now. Fifteen seconds. Looking to pass guard. Postures up. Mears in half guard again. We have completed two rounds. More elbows and ground and pound, okay? Ground and pound. Stand up when you're in the guard to really rain that shot down. Okay. Got it? 
Let's do this. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Here's a nasty ground and pound strike. And here is another ground and pound strike. And here's another powerful ground and pound strike. That was some amazing ground and pound on display. The lovely Ariani here tonight in Las Vegas, Nevada. Round three. In that last round, Roy Nelson's taken a ton of damage from his opponent's ground and pound. He took some nasty... Whoa! Oh, he's in big trouble. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. Solid jab. Wow, another big jab scores. Wow! Oh, oh. combination. Big right hand. Hit him hard with that hook. Big takedown. Vicious shot to the body. Half guard here. Nelson gets back to side control. Look at the bruising on his torso. Got the clinch. Now he switches to double underhooks here. Back to over under. Show a good takedown. He's going to look to finish the fight just like he did against Brock Lesnar. I need elbows. I need elbows. Let's see what he can do from here. Getting in position for an arm bar. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. It looks like he's got that arm bar locked in tight. This is going to be it. Just over three now. That was a deep arm bar, but a beautiful escape. Side control. Tying him up here in the clinch. Nice hook in the clinch by Nelson. And right into the Muay Thai clinch. Good foot stomp. Got the Muay Thai clinch. Knees are coming. Nelson with a knee to the leg. He's in a better position here with the Thai clinch. Great job blocking that punch. Give me a shot. To the body. Showing some good defense here. Another takedown for Frank Lear. He's got into side control. Mears trying for the choke. He's looking for the arm triangle here in side control. And what he wants to do is, he got free of the choke. Half guard. Good work from the bottom by Nelson. He's moved back into side control once more. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Trying to pass here. He got the clinch. He moves to the Muay Thai clinch. Good defense against that huge knee. Mir with the nice knee from the clinch. Under a minute remains in round three. Frank Mir looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. Nice left to the body. Both men throwing frequently. Nice combination. Oh! 
solid straight left. Oh, wow. he got rocked. Oh. Now he's looking to finish. There oh. he is. He got the takedown. 30 seconds. Oh, there he goes. Full mount. There we go. There's a left that connects. You know, Joe, vision has to have become a concern because both of his eyes are starting to swell very badly now. Struggling to get the clinch. He's got the double underhooks. Round three is in the books. Calm down. All right. Just breathe. Deep breaths. You got 10 more minutes. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Here we see it from another angle. And let's see if we can get a better look at that from another angle. The beautiful Ariadne gets us set for round number four. Round four. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Joey lands the uppercut. And oh, knees, big knees. Knee. Vicious knees. Oh, he gets Hard straight punch. Big shots. Strong jab. Nasty combinations here. Joey's doing a good job with those leg kicks. Here with the double. Really good movement on the ground. Into full guard. Nelson gets it to half guard. Now he's moved back into full guard. Frank Mears really doing a good job defending on his back. His ability to defend from his back is absolutely textbook. Young fighters should learn from the way this I'm guy handles himself. I'm going to stand you guys up. Half guard. Uh -oh. He mounts. Attacking with the arm bar. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. And his arm is out. Nelson got caught by that left. He has a huge elbow to the head. Oh, he connected with an elbow. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. He's keeping busy from the bottom. He's back to side control. There's Huge a big left shot. hand. Nicely done. Now he's working from north-south. That bruise on his torso is getting really nasty. Excellent posture. And he's in full guard. The left. He's got the arm trapped of his opponent. Good defense. 90 seconds remain in the round. 
Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Excellent posture here. Yeah, he tried to mount there, Mike. And he connects with the punch. Full guard. Great transitions on the ground. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! Side control. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. He's got a clinch. And separate. You're looking great, baby. And oh, the left leg goes high. Looking for the suplex. Late in the round here, and he gets the takedown. There's a nice left hand. He's looking to pass here, Joe. Ah, oh, that's an outstanding transition. In half guard position. And he postures up. Final 10 seconds of round number four. 20 minutes in the books, and that's the end of round number four. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Beautiful Lariani. Here we go, last round. You ready? Are you ready? Five minutes left in the fight. Joe, that last round was brutal. Break mirrors. Leg kicks were lethal. Nasty leg kicks in that round. Excellent technique. Beautiful timing. Mirror with a nice jab. The swelling in his eyes is starting to get worse. Connected there. Look at that, he's timing that jab. And he lands again. That's a nice clean shot. Good roundhouse. Nice jab. And he looks for the takedown. Now he's and there's a big takedown. Gets caught by the right. North South. And he's going to try to take the back. Joey's got one leg free. He's in half guard now. And he got back to guard. He's going to mount him. And he's got full mount now, Mike. Solid right by Mir. Flattened out. Half guard. Mears passed it high. He's now working from side control again. In the half guard. Beautiful body shot there, too. Got the mount again. Big Huge elbow. elbow to the head. Look at that. Again. He's got the back again. He's flattened him out. Back in the mount. This is crazy. I need elbows. I need elbows. He's posturing up here. Vicious elbow lands to the head. 
That's it. He's out. It he is, is out. Over. Wow. What a knockout. Man. What a performance by Frank Mir. KO by ground and pound. Time now for our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO. And here it is again. Check it out again. Lands perfectly, and that's the end. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Masaki is going to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 44 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Frank Mir! Frank Mir wins by knockout. and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO.